No one who the fuck you think you deal with Stiff cocky push it up you make it screaming For me get your pussy once make carry feelings And say me if you come back this evening I know every girl you fuck, so girl you can't trust What make me say that me have me reasons For me get your Yo, what's poppy? What's cracking? It's your boy with Vance. It's BNG TV, and you're now watching Hot Topics. I got my lad Jake has sitting in the hot seat and the kick it us today. Yo, yo. Saying, what are you saying, my guy? You're good? Not bad. You were saying? Yo, bro, I'm here, man. I'm good. I'm feeling nice, man. Look, a wave in a cup, so yeah, we're just, we're just building a vibe right now. You see me? Well, that's it, is it? Cool, cool, mm-hmm. cool. And let's jump straight into it. So. Who is J Kaz to the people that don't know who J Kaz? Because you're still up and coming, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. So how? Who is J Kaz? Who is J Kaz? I'd say I'm a dancer artist based in the UK, but I do a lot of other stuff. Mm. Like I do loads of freestyle, so I do drill, grime. I started on grime. Okay. So I started clashing, man. Yeah. And them kind of things there, and then I went from grime to rap with one of my brethren that yeah. I started doing music with. Mm. Um, rest in peace, Youngs. And then from there, I just transitioned into dancer, and then. From there, we never look back, you see me? So how did you actually get into music, though? Uh, to be honest, the way I first started, I, I have an older cousin that was like a brother to me, so he's the one that kind of showed me the ropes and certain things, yeah. helped me on certain situations, and he used to rap. So he was older than me, so he was like, when I was chilling with him, I was chilling with him and the man or whatever. Yeah. So I kind of looked up to him the way then, and he was rapping. Mm. So I just kind of copied him, to be honest. Mm. I just cool. wanted to be part of that kind of group. So I started, I was dead. And I just kept going, kept going, ah, kept going. Ah, I said I was dead. No, everyone starts off dead still. Nah, no, no. no. Me, I, Some I, people start calm. Some people start calm. Like, what was you good at? Was dead. you a dead writer or no. was you just dead full stop? All right, let me not lie. I was never, never been dead in it, but you just like, said you, you learn, dead, though. you learn, you learn in it. So what I'm saying, what what our class is dead, yeah. you might not class is dead. Like okay. for example, like. How can I say? For well, example, you sounded, you sounded dead, or oh, you're writing with grime though. Yeah, yeah that's what I, so because to me it's like obviously. When I've clocked you, I've clocked you. In my head, boom, you're a dancehall artist. But then doing my research, I see you doing the grime thing. Yeah. Obviously, to me, Bay was more like an Afro swing type thing, innit? So right now, how would you describe your actual sound? I'd say, like, it's just mad because I've got some old school dancehall flows. Yeah. That, like, 80s dancehall. Yeah. And then I've got, like, the Bay, which I'd say is kind of like... You said Afro swing. I'd say it's more kind of like R&B. And then I've got, like, carry feelings as... Like dance with R and B, and then I've yeah. got Guan Bad, and then I've got Bear Tunes. Still, the whole EP. Yeah, you can check that. If you listen to the EP, anyone that's watching this, take the time and listen to that. It's a, it's a, it's a long list of of wide variety of songs. But Cause we've like, got the hustle and ambition on there. You know what I mean? Just some conscious music. But how would you describe your actual current sound now? I don't know. I like I wouldn't because I do a lot of different things. Okay. My songs don't sound the same. Yeah, well, it's not really like three of my songs that you can say fit but then don't, don't you think that makes it hard to sort of grow a fan base because most artists they'll stick to one genre and grow a fan base in that genre yeah. then when they blow they might try other things but seeing as you're still up and coming don't you think it's confusing if you're jumping from genre to genre to, to your listeners anyways i think good music is good music I'm yeah no i agree people with you. appreciate give, that give like for example music. tory lanes he does loads of but tory lanes is there for him. Like, but tory he's like, always done loads of loads of different stuff it's not it's not just a new thing he started last week he's always been doing that yeah but tory like, like i said okay once you blow you can do that yeah but then as an up and coming for me for example if i if i jumped on your music yeah. and i like your dance wall vibe if i hear an r beach thing i'm like what was this like, i'm not on it no i think no I, I don't know i don't agree because when i do dance wall, it's very r&b sounding as well so if I did R and B tune, you'd be cool with that. And in my dancehall song, I always put lyrics in. So if I then I if then I then if I do a freestyle and put lyrics in it, mm. you're, it's not gonna be anything surprising. So would you say you're influenced by R and B then? Your yeah, sound? influenced by everything. Like anything you listen to is gonna mm. take an influence on it to say that you don't. And any, I see a lot of artists jump on interviews and they say, I don't listen to anyone. <laughs> I don't take. It's like, bro, it's so dumb. Like yeah. you go to the club or yeah. you've got Spotify. You've got radio. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? There's no way you don't listen or to no one. Or if you're linking a girl or certain more time, she's gonna play a song. Exactly. Or you're gonna play songs to yeah. her. You can't go to a girl's yard and say, yo, I'm just playing myself. Yeah. That's mad. Still, <laughs> I mean, you can if you got the catalog, but not yeah. a lot of people even have a catalog like yeah. that. Or this, or that session will be done in like ten minutes. Have you ever done that? Have you ever linked a girl and said, yeah, run my tunes? Yeah, I've never mean, I mean, said that. But just. Do it, man. Just run the tune in a oh, minute. Okay. Or more time, they'll run the tunes. I'll be like, yeah. Oh. But, nah, it depends on the, on the settings still. So, what are you saying? You're, you're a gallus like that? 
no, I'm an just do me. You yeah, know, no, nah, no, I want to say I'm a gallus. You know, you know, I've done my research. I've got, I've got screenshots here, so <laughs> make, make sure your answers are on point because I'll Bro, pull the screenshots out. I'm not, no, I'm not a gallus, man. Right, cool, cool. I'm not a gallus. So one thing I noticed about you, um, you dropped a few vids on your channel. Yeah, the, yeah. The couple of them got over 10k views. Mm. You dropped a couple on yeah. platforms. They've done well as well. Yeah, as an up and comer. Why are you? doing your channel and platforms? Why not focus on your channel and build your channel up? Um, I think at the current stage where I'm at, I think visibility is probably the main priority. Mm. So, for example, I don't know who who's like one of your favourite artists at the moment or whose project are you listening to at the moment? Uh, Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Like, a lot of people would have seen Burner Boy's Breakfast Club and that would have been their first introduction to him. Mm. And he's got loads of new songs on his channel. Yeah. But, like, or he did... I've seen he dropped... Um, there's, like, a tiny desk for... You see, I don't know if you're aware of them. Yeah. Them kind of live performance yeah, sessions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, people are tapped in... People view different things, in it? So, they'll see you on a different platform and then come back to your channel. If so, it's, it's a case of reaching as much of the yeah. wide spectrum as you can Yeah, reach. for sure, for sure, for sure. Any artist should be trying... Well, I'm not going to say that because everyone has their own right to what they want to achieve or whatever, mm. but I think for where I am, I need to reach no, as much. So... Being a UK based dance artist, can I call you a dance artist? Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. So, as a UK based dance artist, yeah, how is your music being received back in back home? Back um, in Caribbean, everything's building up still, but I'm not really, I'm not really focused on the Caribbean like that, to be honest. Why not? I, I'm just that's a bit mad. Like that's your that's your audience. Not necessarily. Like, for example, I dropped I dropped some merchandise last year. Yeah. And the demographic of people, like the majority, yeah, like. And oh, I wasn't expecting who actually bought my merchandise to be yeah. that. And if you came, like, my headline show, I had a joint headline show with Raph. Yep. Yep. Shouts my bro Reckless that was hosting and shouts Trilly that was on the deck. Shouts Trillery Banks that performed mm. all the supporting acts. Lavala. But, um, yeah, so, but, oh yeah, shouts Rara as well. He, he we'll came up. That, we'll get to that. But, um, yeah, the people in the crowd, it was mixed. Yeah. So there was a lot of Asian yeah. in the crowd. But you know, it's There Asian. was a lot of, like, middle age yeah. English women in the crowd. The, like the most of the people that bought our merch mm. were middle aged English women and middle from, aged from the show, right? No, no, I'm on about in, in general that in bought my merchandise. Okay. I had a couple I had I think I had two sales. One was Turks and Caicos and there was another island, like a small island yeah. that bought my merch. But well, but then that's merch wise. In terms of your sounds, your streams, like where they're coming from, like yeah. is is the Caribbean streaming your music? Not as much as but like countries like in Jamaica and that they're mm. not big on Spotify mm. like that. So when I broke down for my last sing- single, Carry Feelings, obviously number one it was UK, and then I think number two was like Belgium, Don't and then I think shout out Belgium. I think are you from? Are you belt from? I'm part Belgian, yeah. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> and then the third one was Holland, I think. But why do you think that is though? Because obviously, like for example, UK based it's a song by song basis, though, isn't it? UK based Afrobeat artists, they still get love back home. Do you know what I'm saying? So like even. UK based trap artists they yeah. get love in America so as a UK dep- obviously not not section boys got a co-sign from bloody Drake for, for flip sake like that's that, that's not by coincidence you know what I'm saying so as a UK based dancehall artist yeah. wouldn't you think that like your your heritage would be sort of receiving your music better um, obviously you said that they don't have Spotify and that and all that but yeah, they're, they're yeah, still yeah. YouTube I mean uh, yeah they watch YouTube exactly so, so so like the community where my family from like I get props on that but mm. like I'm I'm focused on building my my thing here firm in the UK okay. build your base here and then obviously expand yeah then whoever yeah. like I, mean, yeah, I don't run down things certain way I, I put out my music and whoever gravitates to it then they gravitate to yeah, it yeah and I think like the people that support me like it's a proper tight knit have you been back home since yeah for sure for sure for sure when's the last time like two years ago where are you actually? What country are you actually from? Like what? Like Jamaica. Oh, I but like old, like. I should have just said Jamaica. I could have old, dumb questions that. <laughs> old Alba, that yeah. section, mm. and then my dad's side's from the country, like Manchester. Mm. But um, yeah, man, it's a vibe. But yeah, just focusing over here. Cool. I mean, things happen organically. Look at Stylo; he's been doing it for how long? Yeah. And he's just recently bust. Did you say recently? In yard. Recently oh. bust in yard. Okay, cool. I was gonna say because in the UK, Stylo's been busting for a while. Yeah, but I think this level that that he's reached now. It's different. Pause for the bus. Yeah. You see me? But it's um <laughs> <laughs> But um yeah, he's reaching a new level of stardom yeah. right now. So okay. shout stylo as well. So let's talk about your 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 track with my guy Jeremiah Asamaya. Shout out Jeremiah. Yeah, shout Cut out your Jeremy. toes. Yeah. How did you get on that track? Because that track had guilty beats touch it. 
Those guys that don't know, Guilty Beats is Mr. Easy's producer. Yeah, and he produced okay. um, Snack as well, featuring Kidder Kids and Miss Banks. Yeah, yeah, big tune. How did you get on Pon Your Toes? Is it because your boys are Jeremiah or is it because he feels your music and he thought, yeah, jump on it? Because he's, he's a one extra DJ, by the Boy. way. And he could have got any UK based dancehall artist. But yeah, how yeah. did you get on the track? Uh, well, to be honest, I met Guilt. I met Guilty through Jeremiah because Jeremiah interviewed me on his station and Guilty was there. So the me same and, day? Yeah, the same day. Oh, man. So me and Guilty, we built up a relation, like a, we built up a connection. Mm. And he's one of the most humble people I've met. In, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's humble still. Yeah. I've met a lot of people that, you see me? When, when, because they're, they're big, they start moving a bit yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stride talk to man anyhow and it's like, yeah. Bro, I don't care for your rep. Mm. I don't have to work with anyone. No, like, no matter how big you are. Yeah, and yeah. I've had some big people try to talk to man away and it's like, I'll just add the message. <laughs> Opportunity or not, like, I don't, I don't care in it. But, um, really? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Nah, man, who that's just that, But who turns that opportunities, though? I think you have to know your value at all times, innit? True, I guess. Because you'll be known for that. Yeah. A man could bring you into a big opportunity. Yeah. But disrespect your thing and put, put you in a position that no one after that's going to respect you. True, true. And then is that worth it? I don't. That's not worth it for me. I don't know you personally. So no, 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 no. Obviously, I, I get what you're saying. I, I agree with you. Like, if it brings down your total value, then, yeah, yeah, not worth it. But or at even, the same time, or even be able just to look in the mirror at the end of the day, like what for yourself? Yeah. So for you, it's more about how you feel about yourself. Yeah, right? I think that's what that's what I try to do. Like most things I do in life, well, I try to do for all things. Mm. Like I try to only do things that I know I'm going to be comfortable with. Cool. So. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, back to separate number from that. Um, yeah, so me and Gil built up a relation. And then um, I think him and Jeremiah were building a rhythm. Mm. And then Jeremiah's got a tune. <laughs> shouts DJ PK, shouts Swing, shouts Darkface. I did a tune years ago. Mm. Um, I did a verse on a, a uni tune. Because this tune shelled down the unis, hilarious. Mm. Um, what was it? Good old. Good old. Okay. Yeah. Um, I did a verse on that. And Jeremiah loved my verse on that. So he's like, can you just do that but refix it? So I said, I say no, and it's it's easy for me to remix it. So we just went and just laid it down. Okay, cool, cool. But, um, um, so obviously, let's talk about your new single, yeah. Kai Feelings, yeah. featuring my my future wife, Chili Banks. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> and is it D- Detour? Detour? Man said Detour. Listen, I bro. That's my brother's name, with it. Aye, Where is, it? is it Detour? Them plats are too tight, fam. <laughs> I'm not reading right. Okay, Dejour. you can the tour. The jour. The jour. Yeah. Mazeline, okay. The jour. Fitching the jour. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the man shut that tight, fam. How did how did that tune come about? Oh um, Shouts Machine Man Tim. Because Trillery is a big feature to have. Yeah, but I've known Trillery for years. Is it? Through my boy Reckless though. Like how? I've known I've known Trillery for years. Like before all like before all the come of my no, no, not before music, but before she had like millions of views and all that. Yeah. Yeah, like, man, have known her for years, so mm. we, we've done a few tunes, but we never had the right one. Mm. So it's like, we could we didn't want to really waste the collab or waste the feature. Yeah. So I laid down the chorus, the jour did his verse, we sent it to Trudy, she said, yeah, this is it. So we just, we just did it. A, B, C. I'll give you a round of applause. Your, that was your first 100k on plays on... Yeah, 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 yeah it was. So Guan Bad just hit 100k. But it's just, as I was saying, you've got two now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so no. Millie's next. How does it feel to finally get your first 100k? Because I can't lie, a lot of artists, I won't name no names, are out there buying their plays and buying what, 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 I won't name no names. You know, you, know, you, know, you know who you are, innit? But obviously, for you to be genuinely happy you hit 100k, which is a humble yeah. number, you've built your audience genuinely. Yeah, man. So when you hit that 100k, how did it feel? Where was you? Was it you was mad still because you know my like my thing i don't know how long you've known about man or whatever mm. but i'd say like a couple years ago man was even if you got my youtube channel now there's videos on there with 64 players 100 players so bro yeah, man started from nothing Early. bro well like kaz's corner and kaz's like, corner man yeah, was yeah, man yeah, was beating yeah. them out yeah, yeah pause but yeah man was doing them <laughs> and then is it and i was just kept doing them and kept doing them kept doing the songs man was getting 100k a thousand and i was looking at other people i can't lie i was looking at other people's streams thinking raw like Boom, what would it be like to get 10k? Mm. Bro, 10k. Mm. And then man do that, boom, do that. So I right, cool, boom. What's it gonna be like to get 50k? So man, like 50k on my, my own channel. Then it's boom, it's like right, cool, 100 k How am I gonna get there? Mm. It's mad because with these things, there's no like 
when you're trying to create your own path, there's nothing for you to follow. You can look yeah. at other people's things, but every scenario is going to be different. different yeah. So different it's like, there's, you literally just have to try loads of different things and kind of mm. strategize as best as you can. Mm. Obviously, none of us are millionaires out here, so we have yeah. to, we, the way we have to organize and delegate our Penalty, budget, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. at the same time, we still got a life to live and we still, still got, got, more, still got, got more, we've got multiple projects yeah, that we have to put out. We've got some other stuff we want to get into as well. So it's like, how can I do this? How can I do this? But to know that 100,000 players where was, where was you? What was you doing when you found it? When you when you clocked it? What was you doing? Um, FIFA with a link, like, beating <laughs> one off. What was you doing? No, nah, I think I don't know, I was probably in the studio, bro. Is it? We're just working right now for the twenty twenty China. You know what mm. I'm saying? Trying to get ahead of the game. Okay. That's what we're trying to do. Um. So one of your in, in one of your lyrics, you say something along along the lines of you don't catch feelings off of one 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 taste or something like that, right? Of one what? <laughs> Taste, I, okay. bro. You don't catch feelings from one from one link, basically. Long story wait, short. Wait, 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 wait. What's this taste business about, Doug? Obviously, is me that and you? you? Me and you. Were nah, there's no. <laughs> oh, I swear, is that the place you're in? <laughs> see, see me. I'm not sure. Yo, okay. I'm <laughs> management fam. I want to you, fam. Okay. Man, they point taste. You you say um you don't you don't Are catch you feelings straight away tiger, basically. Bro. You don't catch feelings straight away basically. No, no, no. So would you say? I that, mean, you know, what I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with that if if you do. You know? But would you say that's a legit? A legit thing to say, like what? You, wait, you, off, off one what though? You've never met a girl off, after, like, let's say, like one link or like one time you done your thing or whatever. You ain't thought, yeah, cool, boom, I'm, I'm wrapped. No, I'm not wrapped. Obviously, you can find that you can have a sense of you really like the person or you want to get to know them. But mm. there's a, I think there's a, I think there's an underlying difference. I'm not saying it like it's something that doesn't happen in it, but mm. you know what I mean. Off, like what off, just meeting them one time. Or yeah. you said taste like so. What you after you taste them, then no, no, like, like well, after, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, let them dry, after, dog. After, you do ting, them. after you do a ting one time, innit? Then oh, sir, yeah, oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, personally, nah. I okay. mean, do you know what I mean? I don't know, it depends on the person still because you can even just you can even start having feelings with someone based off conversation, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean. So obviously, um, how how was working with Trillery? That must have been a bit like. Cause obviously, you said you got a few tunes together before. Yeah, but, but that's just like. But that's what I said. Like, did you did you meet did, did you did you meet organically? Or did you meet through music? Was it like, oh, you do music, I do music, let's link. Like, it was through my boy Reckless still. Mm. I don't even. I can't even remember how it was, but I just know Reckless patterned it. Mm. But um, do you know it's just like you you know some DJs in it mm. that you'd have known from time. Yeah. Or like, oh, I don't know if you know any big artists or whatever, but you would just talk to them normal. Mm. But someone else will come up and be like, oh, can I have a picture or whatever? Like, for example, I got one of my close friends from young, he used to play for West Ham. Mm. So it was one of them ones where people always used to be guests, but I'm like, that's just my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you know what I mean? But shout out she's a real star. She's going to take off in 2020. I can't lie, she's lit. To me, like, Trilly's like, I'd say she's like, one of the most underrated dance artists in the UK. Because to me, all her lyrics always come hard. All her verses come oh, hard. Her everything, free, everything hard. her image comes yeah. hard. Everything comes hard. She's, she's just a lit person, man. She's real. Like okay. she's real. Cool, cool. Like so, I appreciate her. She's real still. Man to man, re- really and truly, man to man. When you first met Trilly, did you think, right, oh, like, yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna, you know, <laughs> no, no, I wanna no, do my no, thing no, on no. the pipe. Nah, you see me. You see, <laughs> no, let me not lie, yeah. Like you see when it comes to like music and that, yeah. Yeah. I'm mad professional with like, that. So even like models and that. But like, you can still think someone's never, paying. Yeah, you can think someone's paying, but like... And you can still think to yourself, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely like do the thing. No, nah, no, let me not lie. I'm not, this is no cap as well, innit? But like, literally, like, when it comes to that, like, I'm mad professional with it. Mm. Like, I, I like, I don't like people taking advantage or like, using like little... Yeah. Like, you see, even like, if a girl's working in like a bar or something, mm. I wouldn't even flirt with a girl working behind the bar. I'll just, I don't know, something within me, like, like nah, I just... Not really. I don't know, like, I just think it's a bit cheesy, like, mm. especially like, I don't know, man. <laughs> especially like, within the industry, mm. like... Man would never really try plant seeds in the industry no, or anything course. like that. Like, yeah, it gets messy, innit? Yeah, I can imagine it would. I've never done it. So I've done it once, never again. It gets oh, messy. Sir, it gets top messy. Gallish, yeah? Gallish um, yeah. <laughs> so, it gets messy, it gets well, messy. Since we're here, we're not ducking questions. Like, do you want to share a bit more on that? Um, all I'm saying is don't do it. Don't dip your pen in the company ink. But why? What was what, what was what was the consequences of that? Am I interviewing you? Or you interview me? It's a conversation. I, so, I swear they said that the start. Okay, cool. Um, the the consequences was um. Stuttering, bro. <sighs> bro, I'm to <laughs> bro. Bro, drink some it? of that. Drink some yeah, of that. Let me let me yeah, shout, shout yeah, Zoop up. Yeah. Shout Zoop up. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout Zoop. You need to Zoop up, man. Yeah, man. So. One thing I noticed in in your um wait 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 you didn't answer the question though don't worry about it it's cool 
man. <laughs> one thing you're I think you're playing games, man. <laughs> one thing Sarani, I know, man. Your Kai Felix video. Okay, cool. I have to set up for this because this, this is a big this is a big thing that I noticed. Man said he has to set up, you know. So in one of your previous tweets, because I went on your Twitter, I scrolled I scrolled back to like what 2013 or something. So I have 2015? Uh, I don't know. I scrolled back a lot. One of your previous tweets, you tweeted like or you re- well you tweeted and retweeted a basically things that suggest that you, you value your your black queens and your black females and yeah, that. Yeah, 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 so for you, sure. So you said that's an accurate statement? That I value black queens? Yeah, and... Yeah, for sure. Of course, of course, because obviously you're black yourself. But aside from Trillery, did you notice that none of the females in that video are black? What do you mean they're not black? Like, I've had some, I think one was, like... Is light skin black? Define, what, as in... I'm not, I'm asking, Cause I'm you're like you're light skin, yeah. yeah. Light, light skin's black. So so how can you say there was no black things in the video? Well, so in the video? so though, because to me personally, no, because you're not asking. I saw, you're telling me. I saw. So I, okay, I in, in my opinion, I saw one girl that was what um like she looked a bit like Chinese or something like Ori- Oriental or something like that. She was half Ghanaian, half Japanese, and look. was she? Yeah. Oh, mad. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, research yeah. should have been done <laughs> still. <laughs> Listen, you know there was. There. 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 There's, there's, yeah. There's, there's, there's you no, can't. Don't do there's, it, bro. I'm not the right one. Bro, for that board, so, I'm not the right did, one. Did, did, you pick, did, did you pick the models or was it your team? It was, I'd say it was a collaborative effort. Mm. I see a lot of, do you know what is again? Yeah, I see a lot of artists like, to be honest, I don't know any other artist situation, blah, 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 mm. blah. But for for my current, from what I've seen with my own eyes, the artists, for the most part, have to green light the models. Yeah. For my situation, I don't know if like when you get when you have a bigger team, because I see a lot of artists saying, Oh, I don't know. Do 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 yeah. But even that, separate aside from that, did you watch my did you watch my other videos? Yeah, I watched them bay. Did you? Yeah. But obviously I'm talking about Kavi feelings in it, so. Yeah, but I just but find I'm, it I'm, interesting that I'm you would bring that up when I know you've seen the other videos. But obviously we'll talk about your your new thing. Also, oh, so you want to talk about that in isolation from the rest of the stuff? Well, yeah. To fit an agenda. I'm trying to help, cool. like obviously big talk about your new thing, innit? So oh, we yeah, could talk yeah. about your old things. No, but... no, we we'll talk about that. I don't mind. I don't mind, innit? <laughs> I don't mind, bro. Um, so obviously, let's talk about your your recent headline show. Um, no, we'll... let's talk about the topic you want to talk about. Oh, mad. Man, yeah, that's... Man, that's... Man, no, stick it on me. Bro, no, I want to talk about Okay, it. do you know what it is, yeah? Like, for me personally, obviously, I didn't know she was half Ghanaian yeah, yeah. and half, was it? Japanese or something? Yeah, half Ghanaian, half Japanese. See, that, that threw me off, but personally... Yeah, yeah. So you didn't think the other girl looked full black? Nah. You didn't think? Nah, she looks mixed as well. Mm. But obviously... Wait, wait, I... If someone's mixed race, are they black? Oh, of course they're black. All right. So, yeah. so if you thought she was mixed race, but you said I didn't have any black girls in the video, I'm really confused. Okay, when I when I say when I say black, yeah, I mean more like like hmm, how do I wear this without you lot shooting me on the socials? Bro, man. <laughs> I don't know. You're backtracking right now, man. So your recent headline show. Oh, man's getting rattled, you know. <laughs> Hey, management, you need to train up the interview before they come back against eloquent man that's No, no, okay, okay. You, me? Fine, you've corrected me because obviously yeah, the yeah. Bay one, you're the black no, girl. No, no, so no. You... no, I know you're saying like it's all jokes and fun, but really, truly, I think that like I find that thing like a serious topic and I see a lot of people talking about it on the TL. Because me it... personally, I oh. don't talk about the TL because I don't think I'm articulate to to write what I want in 140 characters on a subject. Oh, but yeah. I think in terms of colorism, I think that is something that is very prevalent in our society. Yeah. And I think dark skin girls get the end of the stick. That's what the bad end say. of the dark stick. Skin girls. Yeah. And That's I think I, I think dark skin girls get the end of the stick unfairly, yeah. Mm. And I feel like I feel like people need to speak on it with compassion when because if you've always been treated in a certain way your whole life, you're gonna react a certain way. And I think people need to be a bit more considerate on how they respond to how they res- how dark skin girls respond to some things because it is we can't say that colorism doesn't exist. Of course it does. So the fact that we know that it exists, we have to treat everything accordingly. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's a lack of compassion shown to dark skin girls that go through a lot of things that other types of girls don't go through go through as much. So that being said, then did you notice there wasn't a darker skinned girl? In yeah. The video? But let me not lie with that video, yeah. Because if you watch my Guamba video, Shona Shade is the artist, so, but she's in it. She's dark skinned. Yeah. Um, my other song, Good Good, that I had a dark skin model. Yeah. If you look at telling me the lead of that music video was also dark skin, like yeah. this is something I actively do. Like, yeah. Like I really like that's something I really want to push for because I think dark skin girls are beautiful girls, yeah. and I think that they don't get talked about in the way that they need to be talked about. I've mm. got older sister, she's dark skin. I wouldn't want anyone to disrespect her. No, of course not. So, so what I say that to say is that with the Carrie Feelings video, the jour was only in the country for like eight more days. We didn't even get the videographer that we wanted for the video. Like the, f- the two videographers we wanted, they were busy. 
because within the time span, because jour his visa was running out. He was only in the country for a couple of weeks. Oh shit! So even like with the models, it was like I was shout, I was shouting, yeah. just, like Got trying to get quick. everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean. But at the same time, big up the models that did come and that were available because mm. they did an excellent job. And I don't want to downplay their team. No, of course not. But um, Shout yeah, out. ideally I would have liked to have a dark skin girl in the music video as well. I think that I think that's something that us as black males we need, we to, need to promote take, more. Yeah, I think yeah, we of need to take responsibility, of course, and not hide from the responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So you got serious for a sec, but oh, you know what I mean. I flipping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's good, man. That's um, good, man. Who would you say your top three um, underrated UK dancehall acts are? Uh, uh, underrated. Mm. I don't know. I don't like that word in it, but I think the top like I just give a list of people that I fuck with. Mm. Pause. Okay, fine. Who would you list. say your top three <laughs> artists that you feel should be <laughs> higher? Huh? Who would you say your top three artists that you feel like should be higher than what they are now? Um, I'd say I don't know. Like K more. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Shouts K-Mo. Yeah. He brought me out on O2 stage in Birmingham. You never had to do that, so I respect you forever for that. Mm. Um, Ra Ra, he's got the biggest tune yeah. out of everyone. Yeah. But like, I start all my bachelor's sets with his tune, bro. He's cold. <laughs> like, even me and him did a song called French, his verse. Yeah. Pull up on your getting, getting, you know, the setting. Let me say you did that tax. Say me wouldn't get it. <laughs> and I'm still getting um, <laughs> Like, cold. Um, he was Trillery, Alakai, IQ. Shout out IQ because he put me on a BBC, some BBC list the other day. Mm. IQ is cold, you know. Do you know IQ? Like I said, um, I'm not with um, Don't you make your ball and scream. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. He's cold. Um, like there's bare shout Zeke's. Yeah, of course. Literally, big, everyone, like big man. Zeke's. Shout, but to be fair, they show you respect here <laughs> because you're, you're getting the numbers, fam. Like your freestyles are getting the numbers. Your your, yeah. your, your, your little videos you do on Twitter, they're getting the numbers. Like you know yeah, I'm saying, yeah, your yeah. videos are getting the numbers. Your, your streams get numbers. That's, so you've earned the respect. Yeah, no, 100%. Even your headline show, that... Was yeah, looked look like a madness. I still need to put out the footage. That looked like a. I, I couldn't find no videos. I was like, wow, yeah. was the, I, I, found, I found laptop. some I on your I Instagram. Edit I edit myself, so I need oh. to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because I found some on your Instagram, yeah, but yeah, I couldn't yeah. find no actual after movie type thing. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. It. Now I'm gonna that looked like a madness. Bro, it was a shelling. So I was reckless like and madness. Really and truly, let me not lie here. My bro, reckless that did the hosting, and my personal DJ, truly, who was DJing, them man set the tone. So even when I was backstage, Mm. Man could just, f- you could feel it. Because I see, um, I, 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 I see, um, I see, I think a video of like, I see you a video of you thanking the Rawa for coming out, thanking Trudy yeah. as well. Yeah. What was it like w- when them two came out to show love and obviously support you? Bro, it was mad. Team? It must have gone nuts in there. It was mad. It was mad. Like it was crazy. And then it was like other people like DWE was just in the crowd and that. Like there was. There was, was in the crowd. Yeah, just there. Like shouts, shouts. Um. Terra Danger, yeah, my guy, um, he's been plugging me up, but yeah, like, just a lot of random people was there that you wouldn't even think. So, and what like, made you do it? That's he- Nathan Hector as well. Oh, was was he the? Yeah, yeah, Nathan's my guy. He was on the stage because me and Rara's tune was produced by Nathan. Oh, because Nathan's got a EP, yeah, 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 like a mixtape. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard it. A couple of tunes. Is he a producer? Like in terms of. Putting coordinating, things, putting things together. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what made you do a headline show now? Because, like. Obviously, you're an upcoming artist. You're doing yeah, well. Yeah. You're getting the streams. But personally, I feel like you haven't really had your tunes are bangers, yeah. but you haven't had a hit yet, like yeah. a UK type chart. So what is it? So hit. what does that say for people for people to come up to the headline show? Sure. Well, obviously the 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 fuck with your music. But what yeah. made you think to yourself, cool? Because you could have done it and I'm, it could have flopped. I'm a cut. Kind of, yeah, but you can say that with anything. I think that's a I think that's a like loser mentality to have. For like mm. if like if you're going into anything and with that in your head, then. You've already lost. Really. But did you do it because you you thought you had enough streams to pattern it? No, do you know what is yeah. It's not like sell. Like I think sales tickets and streams. I don't think there. I don't think there's a strong correlation between the two. I think it's the inter. I think it's the interaction you have with the people that stream that makes a difference. And if you go on my videos mm. on IG and that, and you see the comments, I respond to everyone, bro. Mm. Like now it's getting a bit hard, but like I respond to everyone. People, I talk to them in the DMs. Like a lot of people that come, like I know some of their like family issues. Like I talk to people that mm. fuck, fuck with my stuff. So it's different. Like that's why people buy my merch as well. No, I hear you know it. what I mean. And like when people, when other artists that come out, like some artists come, when they have their thing, I'll come and support mm. or I'll buy their song. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
or if like one of my supporters is, has a business, I'll put that on my story. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's about growing your like. That's just how I do it, man. No, I hate that. Like, other people have done it other ways, and it's bigger. Other people have done it other ways, and it's smaller. So you know what I mean. But I think like I don't know if you've seen that video, and it's like Kendrick through the years, and it shows his show, and then next year, and then the next year, and the next year. You have to grow in it. Of course. So you can't just go and yeah. aim for O2 Arena yeah. and just. I hate that. You I hate know what I mean? And next year. So what 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 is the plan for next year? What 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 you got in the pipelines? Another show? Next year, why for or. That? Have you got a single? You can't say, "Oh, I've got bangers," because every artist says, "I've got bangers next yeah. year." Like, but no, do you know it's like? What is the? I can, can you it. tell us one thing next year that is an exclusive that you haven't said anywhere else? That is like a proper planned out thing, like a, maybe a tune of a big feature or another show in a bigger venue. The only thing I say is the cut for the new EP. That's what we've, that's what we've been working on, mm. working on it, working on it now. So is that out next year? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. We're gonna we're gonna put it out late this year. Yeah. Before. Leave it because I put out my my last EP late last year. Yeah. So, but this year we want to kick off the new year with a different thing and freestyles on more channels. When you say new year, have you got like a set date, release date, or just as in? I think this kind of market that the way people taking music these days is hard to plan that far in advance. Yeah. Especially how sounds change so quick. Mm -hmm. Like last year was like Afro swing. This year is like that kind of like I won't even say Afro. I say like trap is kind of like the forefront in the UK. Like DBE. Then kind of mm. sound is kind of lead. You don't think? Mm. Who do you think is leading it in mm. the UK? UK okay. Um, I was yeah. DB like like um, what is it? Um, dirt bike, LB and Young Ads, hundred yeah. percent. Fredo, but at the same time, I feel like because of Burner, Alpha Beats has done a madness this year. Yeah, Burner Wiz, all that thing. His so, album was crazy. I feel like Alpha Beats this His year is crazy. doing a madness. So yeah. obviously, UK sound. Even certain tunes that have that UK. Young, um, what's it? Young T and Bugsy, the new thing with no, bro. Can you tell me you don't hear the UK, the Afrobeats influence? In no, that? for sure. Is for that sure. what I'm saying? So most for tunes sure. have the Afrobeats influence. For sure. in that, Bugsy's so. African, isn't it? So, so, so I, I feel like African, definitely the African sound is obviously that's pushing. definitely. I can't lie, yeah. Afrobeats is definitely paving the way. Like, is that something you dip into, seeing as you've you've done other sounds before? I think my tune Guamba, I'd say that was kind of an Afrobeats rhythm, but at the same mm. time, I have to be careful to keep my identity because I think like, like cause dance all fans and dance artists and then Afrobeats artists and Afrobeats fans, we're kind of bougie in the <laughs> fact that we're always kind of trying to compete. I yeah. don't know. I don't know what... I don't know, know, know where it came is. from, is it? Like, literally, it is, like, from the days of days, like, it's always been yeah. Jamaican versus I don't know why, I don't yeah, know where don't that know, came man. from. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But like, that's like, that's yeah. a thing that we can't hide from that. Not we true. have that comfort. As long as we use it to fuel and, us for positivity. And make bangers. There's nothing wrong with it. Cool. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, Afrobeats artists take Jamaican flavor, well, Caribbean flavor, and Caribbean flavor take Afro artists. So, you know what I'm saying? As long as we just, you know what I mean? As long as we're the one to capitalize on it and we're not making a major coup. You know, you know what I'm saying? I hear that. So, how is your veganism going? Because I heard you're <laughs> a vegan now. You, has, has, has that flopped already? It's flopped, isn't it? You're laughing because it's flopped. It's flopped, isn't it? How long did you last? What, one day? Two days? Yo. But one hour? Hey, yo. <laughs> Bro. It flopped. It's okay. It's flopped. I don't blame you. You're, you're Caribbean. You, got, you, you guys have banging, you have guys have banging food. All your food is but jo- jerk chicken, jerk pork, yeah. jerk everything is banging. I don't eat pork though, still. Mutton. Everything's banging. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no way you lasted longer than one hour. No, let me know. Man was, um, what do we say, reckless? Flexitarian. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a flexitarian? <laughs> man flex in and out. You're well, so one day, well, one hour in. Nah, <laughs> one hour. Man, one hour. Now, nah, big and serious. What I was trying to do is no meat. Pause in the week. <laughs> okay, before we carry on, what is this pause thing, bro? <laughs> you don't know about pause? Nah, yeah. fam. Yeah, like you know when certain, you know what I'm saying. Nah, man. Do you know what? If you don't catch it, it's alright, still. But it's like <laughs> it's pause. just it's, it's a way it's the way of talking, still. So okay. when certain things come up, we just say pause. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I well, to be honest, we say why, but okay. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't catch. A lot of people catch the pause. Cool. When you when I say when people are talking about like things that can be taken as a sexual innuendo, mm. they'll just say pause. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Do you get like, what I'm saying? Okay, I did that. Cool. So, so back to you flopping your veganism. Yeah. So <laughs> I say flexi vegan, whatever the I fuck say, it's called. I say, <laughs> like plant based diet through the week and yeah. then weekend is where we was having the Your boy's animals. laughing, I feel like you're chatting bags. I feel like you're chatting bags. <laughs> no man, no man, no man. I so. am I doing things stuff, but <laughs> like that that's just how I was governing my thing for a while. And then it was like it got to a point it was just like especially when you're trying to do all like late night studio and like you DJ, so I know you must yeah. know after bookings and the only thing oh, open is bro. McDonald's. That's Take the only KFC, that's the only McDonald's. Thing. I don't eat McDonald's, but KFC, yeah. fast food, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, fast like, food. The only thing he maybe get from there is what, like chips, bro. Kebabs and chips. Yeah, it's dead. Do you know what I'm saying? Or like so is that what, fish or something. Is that what made you want to become a vegan because of your options? 
of a month. What do you mean? What made you want to become a vegan? Oh, what made? Like, I I think, like, Cause I, putting like, life into your body, innit? Like, they say mm. it's supposed to give you... It's a, your temple. Like, yeah, your yeah, yeah, you there. Know what I mean? And, like, the meat is... It's not good, man. Like, the stuff that they're putting in the meat. So, like how are you doing now with the veganism? Be real. Don't chat bags. Why? Don't chat bags. Be real. How long... Wait, first of all, how long did you last school. with your flexibilism? And then, how are Bro, you doing now? Man's really on the seafood diet. Really. Mm. So, it's mostly, like, why? But man's on so the fish So, you're a pescatarian? Thing. Man's on the fish thing still. Or you're, or you're a flexitarian. Why? No, man's, bro, <laughs> bro, like, I'm on this salmon and prawns, <laughs> literally. So you're a pescatarian? Salmon. Pescatarians only eat fish, so you're yeah, a pescatarian? Yeah, I, I guess so, but, like, obviously, that's what I was on as so well. Tell it, so, you're tell, so you're telling me, yeah, if if your grandmom didn't cook, the like, the most banging jerk chicken and put it in your front of you, you would munch it? On a weekend, innit? it? Yeah, Mate, on, yeah, a, on a Tuesday night, you've come in after, like, what? Like a late, uh, uh, early booking setting, like you are last night doing a booking, you come in yeah, Tuesday, yeah. you just woke up, let's say it's what, 1 p.m., yeah. you're mad hungry, you're mad tired, yeah. you've got what, ch- jerk chicken there, yeah. rice and peas there, planting, although it's plantains, obviously, but yeah, for you, Caribbean's planting, yeah. you've got dumpling there, you want munch the chicken. Real, really, because you know, grandmoms, the, the food, banging, you want munch that. I don't know, like, not necessarily, you know. To be honest, yeah, I've, like, I've, I've had it where there's all of that there, and I'll literally just have, like, rice, coleslaw, potatoes, and, like, <sighs> I'm easy. I'm not really big on, f- I'm not really a big food person like that. Like, mm. I like, I like juices more. Like, so you're a drinker? Yeah, I'd say, like, mine's more in the... What's your drink of choice? Bro, right now, I don't even really... Don't say raise and nephew, God. Like, them, them, them two guys there, I hate them. Nah, you see it? <laughs> Man, not, or E&J. I'm not really trying to endorse that i'm still but of like, course just like it's just some you know what i mean I, I make fruit juices still mm. so the carrot juice i make yeah. is it okay so cool, cool, cool. my carrot juice with some little ginger you get me and mm. you know what i mean nah. and once again shouts my bro reckless guy when he when he brings in the fruit punch it's a different it's a different thing yeah, yeah it's nah, a different thing i heard that now you don't even bro it's a different level you know fruit punch will knock out your blood clot that rum punch there i lie yeah. you know what i'm saying Okay, cool. So I'm gonna give you. We're gonna play a little game right now, right? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Massive. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> okay, I know you're ready to draw me out now. So I'm gonna give you three. This is what they do, you know? They give you the alcohol, they make it digest, and then they bring game. <laughs> I'm gonna give fine. you three females, right? Massive, give me three, you know? Why can't I get four? No, I'm joking. I could give you four if you want four, but joking, so. make it life harder. <laughs> I give you three females. Yeah. You can't give no political answers. You have to be legit. Obviously, like this is all part of the game. No one, no one get hurt. Blood, clap, no one get upset. Yeah, no. no one take feelings hurt. And that three females. Snug, marry, avoid. Yeah, you in the game? You in the game? Yeah, hey, the man. man <laughs> you in the game? Yo, he's got the pencil, you know. Cool. <laughs> Alika Harley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maya Jamal. Yeah. Miss Banks. Ooh. You see, Miss Banks, yeah? And then, like, yo, Miss Banks, me love you, and I'm a dark skin queen, you know, but mm. I can't lie, bro. Man's not trying to get into it with Ambush and Tion, so I'm going to have to avoid <laughs> you right now. You get me? Man's not in the past, though. So okay. There's too much girl for me to be so more avoid. man. Avoid that one. Okay, so, so Alakai. But I love you still. You see I- it? You get me? Um, and then who else was J- uh, Jada? No, who you said? Alakai and Maya Jammer. Maya Jammer. Boy. She's single now, apparently, so. Why? You know she was post up with man like what's that boxer's name? <laughs> and Anthony Joshua. Joshua, yeah. Why? You, know it? My, uh, you said avoid already, so now you got snug and marry. Oh, so it's one each. Yeah, one each. Oh, yeah, bro. you never told me that though. I thought you knew the game, bro. Bro, nah, man, I didn't even know this game. <laughs> I can't lie. Well, so Maya, it's Maya and Alakai. Yeah, snug and marry. I'd say. Well, I can't lie. I probably, I probably snug my jammer still. And then what? My Kai, Kai, Kai. Wow, Kai. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kai. Bring water, water for him from now on, yeah. <laughs> Mavi Kai. Yeah, yeah. Mary, yeah. She's a bad artist, isn't it? And that's my G. So, okay. you know what I'm saying. So we're cool like that. So we we'll just, you know what I'm saying. Okay. My cool, G cool, still. Cool. I'll give, I'll give you one more. I can't lie. This would be a difficult one. We'll see. Georgia Smith, Rihanna, Shinsio. But don't Why pick because no 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 don't no 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 listen 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 don't pick because of the genre. Pick, forget the music. 
pick basically management's on who you're feeling. Store. Between Rihanna and Shen C, I really have to think, you know. I'd really have to think. But I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I shout to Georgia Smith, innit? Yeah. You're a big artist. Bro, you're about to hurt. Is it me? But Bear man's much, hearts right now. There's too, much, there's too much people that love already. So, like I said, I'm not trying to get in a love triangle or any other love mm. shape with loads of sides. So, mm. I'd have to avoid Georgia. Big you up, though. Wow. And then when it's wow. Shen C and Rihanna, boy, I don't even know. Do you know what I think I'd snug Rihanna still. But I don't know. Rihanna, I don't know. She's got a thing about her where. I think she'll try. Keep, I think she'll have me on my toes too much. She bad you up. I think no, nah, diff, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> she nah. bad you up. Let's be real. Nah, she bad you nah, up. Nah, Let's be real. Nah, it's okay. Nah. It's okay. No, 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 no. But she, you know, she's got something about her that yeah, I don't know, bro. Fire, fire. Yeah, different, fire. different things. So I'd have to snuggle. I think like yeah, it's in it. but then Chancellor. Actually, no. Well on, well on. What's going on here? Well on, well on. Well on, well on, well on. Well on. <laughs> no, because Chancellor. Is- no, nah, cause no, cause Shensi has been talking up a bag of thing about this eating thing, and she needs a man to eat, and if you don't eat, you can't be ah, with her. see, I'm good. Good. So I'm, I'm good, I'm good, me, I'm good, me, I'm good. You're yeah, not good. Yeah, Rihanna, I'm after marry Riri still. But why she says the same thing, bro? So basically, are you cancelling girls because you don't eat the thing, fam? No, but what I'm saying is, if a girl says she's only gonna be with a man that eats, then it don't make sense. Me there with you then, cause. But why not do it? Huh? Why not do it? Bruh. But no, big man thing, yeah. You Bruh. expect a girl you expect a girl to, to go down on you. Right? I never said that. Most okay, fine. You'd be comfortable with a girl going down on you. True or false? Yeah, of course. So why would you not be comfortable going down on a girl? But I'm not forcing her though. I'm not telling her. I'm easy, you know. Mm. The thing with me, you know, man's easy still. Mm. Is it? But then there's just certain things I'm just you know what I mean? I don't know if it, I don't know if that's just how I was brought up. No, I know for a fact that's just how I was brought up. Mm. And it's like some people say it's childish, isn't it? But you know what I mean? It just depth, I'm just on that level. I'm on that wave. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you know what's there? You know what's there? You can say that, but, but come on, man. Like, go, like, girls want a lot of things from guys that they're not going to say, like, certain things, though. Like, even in other aspects, still, of, of the relationship. Yeah, but the any, dynamics, like, Most girls, because I can't lie, like, I'm, I'm, my, my ways have changed, didn't it? I was a scumbag. So most things that I've patterned, which is a lot, most of them wanted that thing, in it. Obviously, mm. man, man can pattern the thing, in it. Mm. So I feel like, Low key, your missus knows is lit, but obviously she knows you won't do it, so she won't pick it up. You say you look up everything. Yeah. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me correct you. Not everything. No, you know them niggas with hoop earrings, bro. Them man go wild, Jenna. You know like that. No, no, no. You know it's wild, fam. If it's my missus, if it's my missus. Nah. That's why he's got the vape, fam. You gotta clear out the day, so I'm T. No, no, no. But you think, yeah, if it's my missus, then I have no qualms of doing it, innit? If it's yeah. a randomer, yeah. see, I won't do it. So you never, you say you never ate a randomer, you're trying to shit. No, 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 mum's never. No, mum's never. Mom, no, mum's. Where, bro? No, mum's never. Be, can't no, be... legit, legit, bro, legit, never, never. I zoom into his face, you know, when, you, when you're playing them thing there, never. bro. Oh, I mean, listen, me don't do them things. Aye, and yeah, make sure you come forward and comment under this post and say, yo. <laughs> What's he chatting about, man? You know, literally. You definitely do that. <laughs> definitely. Don't even lie, bro. Don't even lie, bro. So, so from your lips to them in the rave, you know your mouth that's is open. But that's different, though. How? Bro, yeah. lips and girl is different to diving in, fam. That's different, bro. Bro, remember. Where do you know it from? Bro, remember, yeah. Man, know from the market, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't know, bro. So, I've been your boy with Rice, this is J Cash. Are like, you locking up already? <laughs> Yo, where can't do the heat, my man? I'm just warming up still. What, done already? Ah, uh, fam. So, thank you for watching BNG TV. This is Hot Topics. I'm your boy with Rice, this is J Cash out here. Yeah, kicking yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Until next time, we out. Peace. Yeah, mad. I-